I ask you to sing the chorus of "Beat It," how would you sing it? I imagine that most people will sing it this way. Also, most of the covers sing it this way as well. Well, this is right, but maybe not totally correct. When we talk about the melody of a song, we're usually talking about the melody of the lead vocal, not the melody of one layer of the background vocals, which would easily take like eight to ten layers in total. But in the final product of a song, all the vocals are mixed together, and sometimes it's hard to tell one track of vocal from another. Fortunately, the multi-track of "Beat It" was available on the internet for quite a while, so we can isolate the lead vocal of the chorus apart from the rich background vocals. If we do that, you'll hear the lead vocal melody actually sounds like this. Beat it, beat it, no one wants to beat it, beat it. Then why would we hear that melody? Well, as it turns out, this melody actually comes from the background vocals. There is one layer of falsetto voice singing this melody in the background vocal stack. It's not part of the lead vocal. The lead vocal is pretty monotone. You'll also notice that in concerts, even when he performs this song in lower pitches, he never sang this line in chest voice. Sometimes he just didn't sing it at all. And sometimes he sang it in falsetto voice along with the background vocalists. Could it be because this note was still too high for Michael? Doesn't seem like it, because the same note appeared several other times in this song, and Michael sang them perfectly. They told him, "Don't you ever come around here? You better run, you better do what you can. They're out to get you, better leave while you can. You have to show them that you're really not scared." No need to mention that he has many other songs with even higher notes. Maybe Michael thought that hitting these notes might break the flow of the song or something. It just seems very surprising to me that a piece of melody we thought we knew so well was actually never really sung by MJ. I know, I know. Some of you might think that this is getting too nerdy. It's not even a mistake, and you're just being too picky. Well, the next one is a legit mistake that a lot of people make. If I ask you to sing the pre-chorus of Billie Jean, how would you sing it? I imagine that most people will sing it this way. So, um, in this version, the last two notes rise step by step, and the first and second part of this line have very similar structure, especially the ending. Also, most of the covers and remixes do it this way as well. Well, this is not totally correct. If we listen to the lead vocal track, it actually sounds like this. It is very clear that the last two notes are not as high as many of us think they are. Only the very last note is one half step higher than the previous notes, and the second last note doesn't rise at all. The ending of the first and second part of this line are actually different. This is also how Michael sang in concerts. He had a lot of ad libs when he performed live, but he never sang this line any other way.
but Michael had many songs containing a pre-chorus with a similar melody as Billie Jean. One of the similar songs, "We've Had Enough," actually has the same melody as the incorrectly remembered version of Billie Jean. So yeah, these are the two confusing pieces of melody that I find very interesting and would like to share with you. Thank you for watching.